Hey Deckers, Liam here. You all know about the Heroic Games Launcher, right? It's available for Steam Deck, Desktop Linux, Mac OS, and even Windows. Heroic allows you to install games from Epic Games, GOG, and you can sideload other external apps and installers into it as well. Well, they just had an upgrade to make it even better, with the ability to now sideload browser-based apps and games directly into it. And thanks to this, getting cloud gaming on Steam Deck is even simpler than before with so much less hassle. Here's what to do. Firstly, in desktop mode on Steam Deck, search for the Discover software store and open it up. And you'll notice that I'm doing all of this on the Steam Deck directly with the on-screen keyboard. I'm just bringing it up with Steam and X. No external keyboard needed. You can do it all in one. Inside here, search for Heroic and you'll see it pop up and then just get that installed, which I already had here. When it's open, all you need to do is make sure you're in the library view and hit the add game button and then select browser from the select platform list. My example here is going to be entering in the xbox.com forward slash play address to get Xbox Cloud Gaming. Again, I'm doing this all with the on-screen keyboard just by pressing Steam and X together. I'm not using anything external at all. Then I'll just name it Xbox Cloud and when I go to finish it, it will even pull in some nice cover art for you automatically. When you're happy with it and you've had a look and it all looks okay, you can just hit the finish button and then you just need to wait a moment or two while it saves this side-loaded browser shortcut. And after that, it will take you back to the Heroic Library and you'll be able to see it right there in the Heroic Library, but we're not going to hit play on it just yet. Don't forget to also add Heroic to Steam. You can do this by finding Heroic in the main desktop menu, right click on it, and then just select Add to Steam. And that's the basics done. When you go back into gaming mode, you can just go into your main Steam library over to the non-Steam section and just open up the Heroic Games Launcher. You can navigate it with the actual gamepad because Heroic has full gamepad support built into it. And from there, we can then jump straight into Xbox Cloud with the browser shortcut that I added into it just now. And when it loads, you'll see that it does work, but I'm cutting out mean logging in. But once done, everything does work as expected. So my example is that I'm going to jump into Fortnite. It's an easy example because it's free and I'm now massively cutting and speeding the loading time so that we're just not sat twiddling our thumbs waiting. It's not like the loading time is particularly long. It's just, well, it's not very good content to sit here talking whilst we're looking at loading screens. So I prefer to just speed these things up for you. And as you can see in the starting area here, everything works as expected. All the controls work. You don't really need to mess about with anything. It literally just works. It's as easy as that. So we can have a little dance, drop out of the ship, and then eventually I can get shot in the head and not give you a showcase of any skill because, well, I just don't have any in this game. But for some of you that perhaps found setting up cloud gaming on Steam Deck a little bit more difficult with editing shortcuts and so on, maybe using it this way in the new Heroic release will actually make it simpler for you. That's just a basic example, of course, but you can see just how quick and easy that was. Another addition in the latest release of Heroic, though, is a DLC manager that supports Epic Games. So with New Vegas as my example, when I go to install it, and then I scroll right down, it will show you various DLC that I can now individually pick to install. So it's just another useful little addition. Hopefully you found that somewhat interesting. Do let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.